What's going on folks? Welcome back to another Black Friday exclusive. We've got today the Sony A300 throwing it back. The 10.2 megapixel digital camera DSLR uh, crop sensor though. AS APC dash S APS dash C APS dot dash C. I had to figure out my terminology. If you haven't done the uh, Sony cameras, they make some pretty dope stuff. I personally have shoot on the Sony A7C, which is the compact version of the A7 Mark III. Super dope, super great for vlogging, doing all that kind of stuff. I love the Sony camera system, so it would be no surprise that I picked one up locally. This one, full featured Sony branded camera bag that has a rain cover on it. Uh, this one comes with a 16 gigabyte uh, compact flash ultra speed flash, which for that is 50 megabytes max. Um, I don't, yeah, I'm sure you could get these faster, but um, yeah, so, kind of, you know, obviously uh, um, SD is the way to go, right? So this one takes a compact flash. So this does not shoot video. This is only camera capabilities on this thing also included is the um is the manual and uh and of course some some like advertising from sony and then like a nice little quick start guide for for getting started on this guy um let's see what do we got going on here yeah yeah, there's nothing really there's nothing really to see there um also included in this is the video transfer cable or the yeah i'm not sure why you have a video transfer cable but um you've got one of these that connects into there so you've got that those ports on there dc in remote on that side on the other side it is the compact flash and then your oh, I guess you know if you wanted to film <laughs> this is old school right here if you wanted to view some uh, like shots from your trip on your VCR or on your DVD you plug that into the video section and you could do like a quick slideshow right that's what that is compact flash goes in there too as well I'll just show you that being inserted that side out so and you just push on that and that pops right out there super easy to do here's this this plugs in right here and you plug that other end into your video now this I do not have a transfer cable so you'll need to get pick one up or um, use a compact flash reader in order to get these going on also included in this set, since we're over here looking at this, is we have a Sony charger and two Sony lithium ion batteries. This is the uh, NPFM500H. They go right into here. And boom, seal it up. That means it's charging. Take it out. Yep, so. I don't know if you can see that, but that's got, so we get two of these. Um, I had to grab another end cap for the camera itself. So end cap for the inside. Let me take the lens off. And then there's a camera cap, Sony camera cap for the lens itself. Now this one, I've ordered a front lens cap. Doesn't currently have that right now. So um, we'll... If that comes in before I sell it, great. If it doesn't, you'll just have to pick one up. Also comes with the lens hood that goes on the front of this guy. So typically these have like a little slot. Maybe not this one. There we go. So you've got a Sony branded lens hood. This on this is the uh, 3.5 to 5.6, 18 to 70. So a nice 
nice little, uh, nice little, uh, you know, zoom lens for around town shooting, you know, whatever have you, you know, locally. You probably want to get jump into something like in the 2.8, 1.8. Probably do the nifty fifty if you want to do more, just like all around, like birthdays and stuff like that, and shooting locally and dark rooms and light rooms and whatever. I like the nifty 50 that's my go-to on the sony i've been shooting on that for probably five years now i love the 50 mil 1.8 super fast it's got a it's, you know it's great this lens obviously you have to upgrade to that uh and they're not very expensive um i had it on my canon and i have it now on my sony um let's look at some of the features on this thing we have a uh, auto focus manual focus um, button here as well. That's nice. This has got a, some good amount of features. Um, let me actually put a battery in it so we can actually look at this here. If you want, I can shoot some photos and, you know, upload them into the listing. I just figured, man, that's such a subjective thing. Like who's to say I shot them on this camera. Who's to say I didn't edit them before I upload them you know it's like there's just so many like subjective things when it comes to uploading photos i could take a couple samples i guess um just for the heck of it so we've got that in there let's get the flash card in there boom let's go in there like this so here we go we've got the camera here there's a power button that is right here so just flip that on and we should be seeing now I might have I charged um I didn't maybe I didn't charge this battery. Yeah. There's two batteries, I didn't charge them both. So that's that's good to know. Let's get this one charged. Let's get this other one in here. None like a uh oh yeah, I should probably no, I did turn it on. I'll turn that one on. There we go. Set date and time, no cancel. flash mode so here we go we got the cameras actually on now and uh, we've got 98% um, battery here fine let's see let's go into the menu where's the menu here we go image size small do medium or large sorry 10 megapixels quality now you can shoot in raw on this which is nice um, we can do raw creative style. You can change up your creative styles if you want. Um, it would be cool if you could see like what you're doing on there, but it's all good. You could see how this is, this is closed down here. So, um, that's kind of cool how that closes down when you're working on that sunset nighttime. Okay. So black and white Adobe RGB, pretty standard stuff there. Flash control. Uh, so you can have your on, on demand flash or pre flash, set that up, um, go menu, flash compensation, priority setup, uh, you know, the Sony's are freaking incredible when it comes to auto focusing, especially on the face. They got the on exposure and they got the ALE auto exposure limiter. Maybe I'm not sure what AEO means. Um, red eye reduction format, then you've got play actually not a lot of options here. Not like this, not like my camera's got like 20 menus in every menu. Um, pixel mapping, okay, that's pretty cool. Playback display, okay, we got the display. Okay, okay, menu, let's do this, display, so you can see the, the color, the white balance there, what's not going on here, we're doing live mode, so that's why it's kind of, let's do like a, actually let's get out of live mode, so, the flash pops up, I saw that there, I don't think it's going to take a photo because it's too close. Let's see here.
There we go. We got the edge of the bag. Perfect. So this is, I would say this is a great camera for um, anyone that's like starting out, especially like a kid um, or, or, or an adult. But if you want to get used to the whole um, DSLR functions and all that good stuff, this is probably a good, this is probably a good way to go. A um, couple other features on here is the screen doesn't pop out like some of the newer cameras do, but it does fold out like this. So you can like shoot, this is an option I use a lot, um, is shooting, cause I shoot, I do a lot of perspective shooting. So I might be below the subject or above the subject, um, like using like lines from different objects to, to point towards my subject. So I usually shoot like this is really nice like I'll shoot kind of like below the knees uh kind of thing like if I'm shooting up on stage into the lights or something like that so this is a nice that's a nice little option there um and then it comes down like this and you can do like this so if you have it up above you know you can do that but it doesn't it doesn't fold out at all or articulate or anything like that so just something to just something to keep in mind you have the steady shot option here, super steady shot there. Function, that changes the autofocus mode. Um, white balance, metering mode. You know, do you want to do center weight, multi-segment, spot, you know, whatever. Um, and that's good because you don't have a lot of options, right? And some of the newer cameras, you got a ton of options, like the pro level options. And you don't need all that stuff. You got a couple, you got a different autofocus areas local spot so it's going to choose a spot focus on that area right um and then wide it's going to try to focus on the whole subject so it's going to try to bring everything that you you have into focus so uh versus like trying to focus on like for me like i'm shooting a lot of um church stuff so it's like the worship team so if i'm trying to focus on like just the guitar pick and the guy's hand i'm gonna do spot right so, because I'm just trying to get the, like a smaller area. And then if I wanted to do wide, I want to do like the whole stage, I'm going to do that. And then local, it's going to, I'm going to pick it. So I'm going to be able to move it around and pick it. So, um, there's that. There's, uh, we have, there's a live, there's on the top of the camera, you have live view. Now there's no LCD screen up here. Um, you have your camera, multiple shots here, ISO settings. Um, this is so this is what you're measuring if, in case you need to know this This is what you're measuring from if you're looking at a macro. So it says here on the front of the lens macro uh, 1.3 feet so what you want to do is you want to measure from this point right here to Whatever your distance is for your subject. That is the the, the minimum focal distance so from that point to 1.3 feet in front of it is the minimum focal point for that for that little guy right there. Let's see what this does. This this moves you through the menus. Okay, let's get out of the menu. Um, and that you, you might be able to see some things in there. Someone's painting their camera. Um, we also have on top of here. We have different focus modes. Program mode, aperture mode, shutter mode, manual, night, sunset, sports, macro, landscape, portrait, no flash, auto. So there you go. That's the that's the modes. But those are all in your manual, so you'll see all those. And um, if you wanted to do the flash, you can engage it right there. That should engage it, but not sure why it's not. In. Oh, maybe because it's an auto. So if we went landscape, let's do night. Okay. Again, we got this. So that's auto. Let's go into manual and see if we can change the. So on top is the, on top is the shutter speed. Right here. And we're not, so we're gonna do the, um, 
Why don't we change the? See, I want to. I want to like spin this dial, but. Let's get out of that. There you go. So you hold down this AEL and you can change the um, change the f-stop. So there's gonna be a minimum. So What we got going on here? Oh, it's way too dark. Yep, that's gonna happen. Anyways, that's uh, that's the overview on this camera here. Um, you have your shutter button right here. Change your apertures there, uh, or your shutter speed. Um, take the lens off right here. Hit that button in, and you twist it. It takes the lens off. The lens itself, I think, looks pretty good. It's got um. A couple hairline scratches. Let's see here. Where is this at? Let's turn this off. There we go. Now it's not focusing. There are a couple little guys right around the top. And I look at the camera lenses often. I've got a bunch. So for I I think it's I think the lens I think this lens is in really great condition. Given the um, uh, given the age of the camera and everything else, you see the anti-reflective coatings on there. Looks pretty good. Um, there's a couple little tiny, but you're not gonna see them in your in your photos. They're not scratches. They're just like little little hairline stuff. So just to keep that in mind when you're buying this. Um, other than that, that's about it. Let's just go over one other thing. That's the camera bag. You've got a full featured bag. Let me pull this up here. Full featured bag. Um, it's got the dividers in it that you can move around. So you can like you know, change that if you wanted to. It's, I mean, there's only a certain number of configurations you can do because the bottom is not, got, doesn't have any Velcro. So it's really just moving them to accommodate your camera and your lenses. Um, nice little mesh area in here um, for your for your memory cards and things of that nature. Um, in the back, you've got, uh, this is where I have the manuals, and then there's a rain cover for your bag. So that's pretty cool. course side pockets as well and a front pocket so nice little bag for traveling and uh whatever have you great great camera to learn how to use a dslr no video on this camera so uh really you're just going to be shooting learning how to use a camera and uh this is i mean this is basically what i started shooting on back 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 in the day i used a canon xs which is uh, entry level canon it taught me everything I need to know. Now, now I use the A7C, no problems. And um, I've used some of the higher end stuff too as well. It's just, uh, this is a great, literally a great start if you're looking to get get your feet wet in DSLR photography. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Um, we're gonna have this on our eBay store. And uh, as always, um, comment, like, subscribe. We love you guys. Have a great night.